Welcome to my channel. This, um, I think is mostly going to be like a makeup channel, but I want to do like a few vlogs here. You can see a glare through my eyeglasses. Um, it's going to be like kind of like not super professional, but anyway, today I wanted to talk about the first, um, episode of American Horror Story. What's the name of the season? Cult. So I have some notes here. I like took notes on the show because like I want to do like I want to do some vlogs and I really like American Horror Story and I want to do the recap. So I might do more recaps and like get ready with me's. But I wanted to like do the first episode like, um, you know, you know, like in a. You know what I mean? I need to cut stuff out. <laughs> OK, <laughs> so anyway, um, so, yeah, the. The things that I found were interesting, like, um, the first scene where they show, um, Evan Peters, he's in, like, an empty room, and then they show, like, like, he's, like, the crazy guy that, like, does the cult and everything, and, um, Sarah Paulson's character, and he's, like, really happy about the results of the election, and Sarah Paulson's character is very sad about the results of the election, but she's in a room full of people, but the thing is like none of the people like you know it's supposed to be like a I guess they're supposed to be like Hillary Clinton supporters and they're all like you know trying to be like that but no I don't think anybody in the room actually voted for her because Sarah Paulson didn't vote and I don't think that Evan Peters character voted for Donald Trump either I think that that's going to be like the twist is that like nobody actually voted for anyone because it doesn't seem like they're like supporting the actual person they're just kind of supporting like things that they represent and that's that's an interesting concept to me I don't want to get political about it but um yeah I thought that was kind of like they're in a room full of people and like later on it comes up that she didn't vote for Hillary she voted for Jill Stein and one of her neighbors also did not vote for Hillary Clinton either and I just I didn't get the feeling that um the Evan Peters, even though he was a Trump supporter, I didn't get the feeling that he voted for him. I don't know why. Just the fact that he was like all alone in the room just made me feel like he just wanted to see what was going to happen. Um, I could be wrong. Like, I don't know. And like, this really has no impact on my political views or anything. So that's just kind of my view of what was happening in that first scene. Okay, and then the theme song I thought was really cool this year. I think it was so much because we didn't have it last year that this year when they had the theme song, I'm like, this is the best one ever. And I feel like there are so many like clues and like connections between other seasons. Um, there was one like moment in the um, in the credits where they had like somebody that looked like they were like a butcher. And it reminded me of the butcher from last year. But then, like, later thinking about it, I said, I thought, oh, the, the restaurant that um, Sarah Paulson and her wife in the show, played by Allison Pill, I forget both of their names. I think Sarah Paulson's character is Allie, and I know her wife is Ivy. Um, yeah, and then Evan Peters is Kai. So I should probably call them by those names, but I'm really bad at remembering the names. And then I'll just end up calling them a name from a different season, but... Um, yeah, anyway, their restaurant together is called The Butchery. So when they showed that picture of somebody that looked like a butcher, I'm like, oh, is Ivy up to something? And they showed, like, washing blood off your hands, which usually means, like, I, I signified that as somebody feels guilty about something. So I wonder if, like, Ivy feels guilty about it or something. I don't know. It really, like, it's a, it's a good, like, um opener I don't know if it's just because like and then like they were carrying a coffin which they show in coven and there was something that reminded me of asylum also and I don't remember what and then like it had like the merry-go-round like in the freak show um theme song so I thought that that was really cool um then like for some reason I wrote that I think that um Sarah Paulson's character is dot and Jimmy's daughter. Um, I don't know. Because it would make sense that she's afraid of clowns. But Bet and Dot weren't really involved with um, Twisty per se. But they were involved with Dandy. Who was influenced by Twisty. 
So that would be kind of interesting to see. But I also thought, like, her son reminded me a lot of the son in the first season. And then on the podcast I listened to, This American Horror Story, they also mentioned that um, he thought that the son from the first season might be reappearing in this season. And then it might be him. Because they always say, like, they're going to revisit that. And they're going to revisit what happens to um, Tate and Vivian's son at in American Horror Story season one. So I'm wondering like if that's him because I feel like maybe the age isn't quite right but I feel like he has the same look and like just the drawing that he did was just so weird and like his fascination with like twisty and everything. I don't know. It just... It was weird, and I would kind of like to see if that has anything to do with anything. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, and then, like, when Twisty, like, slit her throat, it reminded me of Hotel. Um, I've been rewatching Hotel recently, and I'm probably going to do a blog post about that pretty soon. Um, probably on, maybe on Thursday. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, I want to have like a bunch of American Horror Story throwback Thursdays because I love going back and rewatching them like while the current season is still on because there are connections. So I just I think that's cool. I always try and then I, like I never end up finishing the season. But yeah. Um, what else did I write down here? Oh, the mask with the different faces kind of reminded me of Edward Mordrake because he had like the face on the back of him I don't think that that's like a real connection or anything because there's nothing supernatural that's going to happen in this season they've announced that already I'd imagine on Halloween there still would be but they've said like once like somebody dies in this season like they stay dead and um that's pretty good um yeah I mean like like that's pretty good like it's American Horror Story so like in Coven, it was a little bit messy where they kept having people come back from the dead. And it's just, it's, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice when there's like a more of a structure to the show and they don't have people come back from the dead. But, um, yeah. So what else do I have? Okay, I have that Ivy's the butchery. Um, I'm really suspicious of Ivy. And like all of these notes, I have like Ivy, Ivy, Ivy. So like, mm -mm, something's up with her. Like... She knows, she and the therapist are both the only people that know about all of these phobias that um, that Sarah Paulson's character have. So I kind of think that at least one of them must know something and must be, like, in with the cult and trying to get her, like, you know, I, like, they're trying to, they're, like, in on it and they're trying to get her to get scared. And I also think that there are going to be more, like, themes of phobias throughout the show which is kind of interesting because like people are really scared of like these like kind of mundane things that like you could see in everyday life like you could see a bug in every like I'm scared of spiders and like I could see them like every day and like it would be like it's like really things that aren't all that scary but like to some people like they really freak them out like the holes that I or that um Sarah Paulson's character sees, I'm pretty sure her name's Allie, but I don't want to mess it up in my first video. So yeah, um, so I think that would be like an interesting take on like a horror story to have like these phobias that aren't necessarily scary things. Um, so yeah, and, and mixed with like these very scary things, like I thought that this was the scariest season opener ever. And it was also the season opener that held my attention the best. Um, except for last year, but last year I didn't think was scary. So I was kind of like, oh, I wish it was a little bit more scary. And then like, I don't know, like Freak Show was very scary also, but like that didn't hold my attention. Hotel, my mind kind of wandered a little bit, I think. And Coven held my attention pretty well, but I didn't like, I don't know. There was stuff I didn't love about Coven. And I just thought that this was like a really good solid opener where like not too much was happening, but there was still a lot of stuff going on and you can kind of see where everything's going, but I don't think it's going to be like a predictable season at all. So I think that's all really good. I think we're off to a st the good start for this. Um, yeah. And 
I really love Billy Lord. I loved her in Scream Queens. Like, I dressed up as Chanel number five, or no, number three for Halloween one year. And, like, I just, I love her. She's so funny. And, like, I think she's going to be so good on this show. Like, she's already creeping me out so much. And, like, I don't know. I just really like her. Okay. So that's it. I hope you all have a good day. Um, I'll probably be on maybe next week on Monday talking about or maybe I don't know. I don't want to say when I'll be on but I want to do another recap and it might be a get ready with me recap of American Horror Story because I think that would be fun to like combine makeup with American Horror Story talk. Um, so yeah. All right. Bye.